Now we want to review what is the certificate of authorization process for manufacturer. You consider we having a, 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 a Californian perishable vessel manufacturer for the first time they want to be a authorized, uh, you know, perishable vessel manufacturer or to be a, uh, have a you know a certificate of authorization from the ASME to be able to put the ASME marking on the nameplate and shows uh, and, and indicate that on the design documents and drawings everything so the process as you can see in the screen first is sign a service agreement with the AIA I already explained about that the first things they need to do is assign an agreement with the authorized inspection agency uh, you know to in a certain point they have to come over there and make inspection and testing uh, or witnessing some of the test the second item is that the described a QC system or quality control system according to the ASME code Appendix 10. So Appendix 10 actually is a road path for any manufacturer that wants to be a ASME perishable cell manufacturer. There is a quality control system, it's a few page. They're going to implement that quality control system in their organization to be able to get, you know, certificate of, of authorization is not going to be approved for that which is going to be an audit that is going to determine if they properly implemented and described those QC system in their organization and the third item in the, our uh, process for being a, a, a authorized pressure vessel manufacturer is prepare a demonstration item like this one they have put together a design and then manufacture a pressure vessel and then show to the ASME and you know authorized inspection agency they have a demo pressure vessel they designed manufactured inspected and tested based of the ASME code number four quality per procedures and personnel you no know, any any pressure vessel manufacturer needs some some procedures like a welding procedures and and the welder or welding operator performance qualifications and then uh, in procedures like hydrostatic testing procedures nde procedures and the personal qualification either for welding or nde those also need to be ready to be presented to the uh, you know the uh, for for auditors that this comes from the asme or authorized inspection agency the next they implemented, they described the quality control system in their facility based on the app Appendix 10. Then as a pre-joint review by the supervisor of the AIA. A supervisor inspector is going to come from the authorized inspection agency, make a primary evaluation or audit on the on the pressure vessel manufacturer to make sure everything is good i mean it's, it's there's no con non-conformity everything described as indicated in the appendix 10. if it is some issues it's going to indicate those issues and the manufacturer can have some chance to go and fix them and if everything is okay then it's, they're gonna you know coordinate and schedule uh, you know an audit by the asme designee supervisor of the authorized inspection agency and authorized inspector as you can see in the screen and the seven if they made an audit everything is as per appendix 10 they can issue of the certificate of authorization which is going to be valid for a certain years and it's need to be renewed after that certain years elapsed so